Just, you're gonna have to like almost lay down there and <laughs> don't fall in. <laughs> Good morning guys. We woke up bright and early and we are headed to Baby Town! <laughs> Ollie's so excited. I'm so excited. I could not stop thinking about it like all night long. I was having like dreams after dreams, like getting them and taking care of them and I'm like ner excited and nervous and like I just I don't know, it's gonna be like a really fun We're like adventure. Be baby. Yes, we're getting baby chicks. Hopefully like just a few days old, maybe a week at the most. I'm really excited, but we have two different stops for making. First, we're going to a, a farm that just kind of has a lot of different chickens. They also pretty much guarantee that they're hens or they'll be girls. Um, and then we're going- you don't want a male, because those are annoying AF. Yes. And they'll fertilize all your eggs. <laughs> yeah. So, and then also I'm gonna grab some other chickens from this other lady that's a rare breed, and we'll talk about that breed a little bit later, but I'm really excited about those ones. Just excited, we're about to start our our big adventure, so How it's gonna be a fun we day. Getting? We're gonna be getting, I believe, four or five at the most. What Maybe four or five? Four or five. Five. We're getting five. We're getting five. Right. Maybe six. Just kidding. <laughs> we'll see. Are you excited? Yeah. What are you gonna go get? Um chickens. Chickens. You're wearing your overalls and you can't see, but Finn's wearing his overalls too today, huh? Yeah. So we'll be farmers today. What's in there? Chickens. Chickens. We just picked up our first two chicks. These are silkies, and they're really cute, really distinct, really, really good pets, actually. Oh, look at their they're hugging and they're pooping everywhere already. You want to hold that? He's so gentle with them. He loves it. Oh, we got a black Give a one. Give him a kiss. Mwah. And then we also got a speckled one. She said it did look a little lavender, but she doesn't ever have lavender ones, so it'll probably be speckled. Be gentle. Aww, so cool, huh? Let's go pick up their sisters, Kay. All right, we're choosing more chicks. Ollie, which one should we get? Yeah, we're gonna get that red one, and that one we already had, yeah. Look at this big one, the light Brahma. These are pretty, huh? Yeah. Oh, he's gonna hug. All right, I think we're getting that one. All right. All right, these are all our new friends, Kay. Can you take them home? All right, we got our five new family members and we are gonna take them home. Yeah. So cool. They're so pretty and cute. And I love the combination that we got too. Oh, they're all different. They're all so cute and pretty. And hopefully all girls. And look at they're all just cuddling right now. You guys are gonna be the best of friends. Yeah, hopefully they're all girls. Because we, if we get a rooster, we have to basically get rid of it and get a new one. Because we only want hens so that we can get eggs from them. We try to get as many of them sex as we can, but sometimes like the rare breed ones are really hard to do at this age, so we'll see. Oh, Finn's getting a good look at them. Ollie, can you show Finn? Yeah. Finn, look it. <laughs> They're little, just like Give you. Give a kiss. Hey, Ollie, which one is your favorite? Um. That one? Yeah. Uh, she's got a little poof ball on her oh, head. Yeah. All right, Missy, we should tell them what we're gonna name them. Yes. They all have very special names. Very important, you guys. We've had dreams about this for a long time, so we're gonna tell you right now. So why don't you just lift them out and I'll tell them who they are. Okay. You guys will see a recurring theme, too. This one's name is Edie. Edie Britt. Edie Britt. This one's name is Gabrielle, or Gabby. Gabrielle Solis. Yes. This one's name is Lynette. Yes, this is Lynette Scavo. This one is Bree. Bree Vandycamp, right here. And this one, Susan. Susan Meyer. Did any of you guys know yet what, how they're named? These are our desperate house chicks. Aw, named after the desperate housewives. No. Aww. Aww. <laughs> that one's Susan, can you say Susan? Susan in Desperate Housewives is a little ditzy. Yes. And these ones actually, 
they have a big poof ball on top of their head, so sometimes they can walk a little funny because it affects their vision. So we thought, oh, this one will be clumsy. It'll be a perfect season. And this is Brie because she's red, and Brie has red hair and very pretty. Yeah. Gabrielle is just very like sleek. She's like she's small, beautiful. petite. Yes. Okay. So that one's a good Gabby. Lynette is just a Lynette. I don't know how to explain Lynette. She's just a mom. She's in charge. She's in charge for sure. Edie's another beautiful because she's a silky, so Edie's beautiful as well. So small and petite. Yeah. Beautiful. Yep. We laid down some cardboard paper at the bottom so it's easy to clean up when we're ready to move them. And then we're gonna put these, what is this, Dad? Sawdust. It's like sawdust. And we're gonna do a lot more than that. <laughs> Ollie's helping us out. We're gonna layer it all up so that the chickies can sleep and lay and play on this stuff, okay? All right, dig it out of there and dump it on the floor. Dig it out, get it all out. There you go. You gotta spread it everywhere, okay? <laughs> Put it everywhere. There you go. You get it? You got it. Their food. Good. And then we've got their water. Gotta get their water, baby. Just go like this. Put it here. Filling that up. All right. We've got their bulb going. So they have a little spot to get warm. Some water. Some food. How's it look? Now we just need to get the chickies in here, huh? By the way, we ended up flipping it around because I figured I actually don't really want the chickies going over there when uh, we can't really get them. So this is a nice big area, big enough, and they can't get too far away from us also. So that's good, right? We got the coop all set up for right here in the garage. There's Gabby. There's Edie. Oh, Who's careful. That, Ollie? That's Lynette. He calls them all Gabby. He calls them all Gabby. Gabby. Who's that? Susan. Susan. And then Miss Bree. There you go. You like them? Yeah. Think they'll be happy? These are our chickens, dude. Yeah. They're gonna stay here in the garage. What do you guys think of our chickens? Do you like do you like their names? Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why we named them after Desperate Housewives, it's kind of a little Easter egg because Missy and I used to watch that show all the time. We were obsessed. And we still turn it on sometimes too. That's where you eat. There you go. Oh, look at their eating. That's so cool. All right, Finn is having some lunch. He's got little pita bread with some hummus on it, which I just introduced hummus yesterday, and he so far loves it. And I like that he likes it because it's basically like a bean and it contains like a lot of protein, which is nice. He's got some strawberries here, which he really loves. So I always like to cut up some of these. Is that good? You liked all that? Oh, sour, a little sour. And then Brian just kind of fried us up some chicken. We're gonna have little chicken sandwiches. Ooh. And I'm ready to eat because I'm starving. Making homemade macaroni and yes, cheese for Ollie. Yes, look at this homemade. Homemade macaroni and cheese right here. Yeah. Only the best. You want some mac and cheese? All right guys, as some of you may know, VidCon is fast approaching and we are actually gonna have a very busy VidCon schedule for the weekend. So here it is, I'm gonna put it up on the screen. Basically, we're gonna have a panel on Thursday morning, which is gonna be super fun, with a bunch of other daily vlogging families. And then after that, we're gonna be doing a interview Q&A and I'm actually gonna have a very special announcement for you guys during that. And then I'm also gonna be performing a couple of songs at the Maker Booth on Thursday at 5.30, which is gonna be really cool. 
Friday, we are actually going to be doing signings and selfies at the Slyfox Threads booth. And all during VidCon, we are going to be selling an exclusive VidCon shirt. And it's really cool because we actually collabed with Slyfox Threads on it. It's a really sweet design, which I'll put on the screen also so you can check it out. Really excited about this shirt. It will only be sold at VidCon at the Slyfox Thread booth. So be sure to go check that out. And we will be showing up on Friday um, to do signings and selfies and get to hang out and meet some of you guys because that'd be really cool. And then Saturday morning, we actually have an official VidCon meetup. So I hope you guys are coming to VidCon because we have a lot of cool stuff happening and we can't wait to see you guys there. Check out this bad boy also, you guys. We got a drum machine for the show at the Maker booth. Jeffrey is over and we're getting everything ready. We're actually gonna have some of the band come over because we're gonna do a rehearsal. But we're doing an acoustic set, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be you, we're gonna have our drummer, who's, who's gonna be on this. Oh yeah, and then Garrett's doing uh, keys. So they're all gonna come over tonight and we're gonna practice a couple of the songs that we're doing. <laughs> That's cool, dude. That's really cool. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a cool vibe for an acoustic show. We're gonna try and like give it a little bit more production, but it's gonna be a lot different. <laughs> Dude, that's sick. <laughs> Joe, my drummer. In the building, y'all. He's going over the new drum machine to make sure it all sounds right. The show's gonna be like acoustic. Are you gonna do like piano, synth? Let me find out. I think we're gonna figure it out, yeah. I love the classic piano sound, you know? All right, so I just came in from outside and we have been trying to deal with a little issue that we've had on the property and I totally forgot to vlog about it, so I'm gonna tell you about it right now. But as you guys know, there's like a natural spring down the hill from us, but there's another spot away from that natural spring where water seems to be seeping through the ground and we just figured oh it must be another natural spring but then we decided to maybe we should just dig and, and look into it a little further and we found a pipe so that pipe ended up having a crack there's a crack here oh. right there wow. that and then crack? i know and there's a crack Right here. Wait, those little cracks were causing all that water? Yeah, because our water bill was like way more than it should be. We're like, what is going on? And turned out it was this pipe. We had it fixed. So now we cannot turn our water on for the next two hours. We're cooking dinner. It's very difficult when you're cooking dinner because I'm like getting water from the water cooler because I have to boil gnocchi. Yeah. And then I'm like filling up like cups of water to wash my hands because yeah, I have raw meat. Yeah, because he has raw meat. So he has to like wash his hands and stuff. So. It's definitely a little tricky, but it's only for the next two hours, and then we can turn all the water back on. It's good that we were able to actually figure out what the problem was going on, because actually the lady who originally moved here told us that that also was another natural spring. So we were just like, that's a natural spring, but we were like, that seems weird, and our water bill is like really kind of crazy, so let's check it. And it turned out to be exactly what we thought it was. I just bogged my head self in the face a little. So. There you go. All right guys, it has been two hours. My dad just told me there's a full moon now. Is that a full moon? It looks like most of it. But we are ready to turn on some water. And my dad stuck around, because he walked me through like how to do it all, but then he, I, he like got nervous. He didn't want to leave me alone to do it. So I'm gonna go with him to do it, so. This is the first ones. Make it's sure way, it's way down there, like three feet in the ground. <laughs> dad, you're too close to the oh. camera. <laughs> it's like way down there, like dad, three, feet, your nose. three feet in the ground. <laughs> Okay, ready? <laughs> Just, you're gonna have to like almost lay down there and... Okay, I'm working on it, Dad. <laughs> oh, God. Ah! Don't fall in. Oh, Did it turn? No. Oh. Hang on. Did you get it? Got it. All right. Done. <laughs> Did it. So there is a little bit of a process though when turning on the water, we have to like turn on all the outside water and then turn on like the bathtubs first so that the water or like the dirt doesn't plug up the tubs and stuff. If anyone's wondering why Brian's not out here, because <laughs> I'm always doing stuff with my dad. I just like doing stuff like this personally. And Brian's just like putting Ollie to bed since I put Finn to bed and Ollie takes a little bit more time than Finn, so. I like doing stuff like this. People always ask why Brian's not outside. I don't know, I just, I like doing it. I'm like, Brian, stop, I wanna do it. Anyways, we gotta do one more, and then we're done. Oh God, oh you are? The other water line is off, outside of our property, so we have to take the Polaris, go turn it on. That's pretty simple. Got it. All right, headed back to the Polaris. All right, we're checking on the, the pipe that was just fixed after we hey. turned on the water, and that frog is just hanging out. Oh my goodness, you're like huge. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. It's ugly. <laughs> All right, it looks good though, right, Dad? 
All right, all the chickies are under the little warm light and they're just being so cute. They've been so much fun all day hanging out. You guys are happy, aren't ya? Band rehearsal, yo. We're actually making a lot of the songs off of like a live EP, like super chill, like halftime. I think it's gonna be a really cool sound. Here's some of it. <laughs> 